Texas. A very orderly start. Nobody jumping out of line. Well, we saw the horsepower right off the bat. We talked about it yesterday, the horsepower in that five car and how good that thing handles down the straightaway. Uh, just drive away from Ty Gibbs uh, through, the, through the middle of one and two and off a of turn two. Well, I saw it through the middle, and what I saw is the loud pedal. That right foot stayed down farther on the five than it did at the Gibbs on that outside. That's hard to do. You drive in door to door, not knowing the grip level in your race car or anything else. That was a smart heads up move, veteran move by Ty Gibbs. Let's go ahead and settle in here. Make sure we got the grip we were looking for. Single file back to seventh. Sendrick and Wallace support in a Toyota battle. Truex looking on. That's for eighth place. Well, I'm really interested to see if these sports can hang out in the front of the pack. See Chastain in trouble off of turn four. You see them all starting to stack up behind him there, getting off into one. Yes, look at this. Still, I don't have it sorted out. That was all stacked up behind Chastain, just right in front of this pack. Now, three drivers had to start in the rear. Kyle Busch in a backup car. Jimmy Johnson after crash repairs. And Kaz Grala changed a steering rack after yesterday's qualifying. We've seen this racetrack run uh, two races now. They did not put any resin in the second groove, but we've seen that second groove already been run in in the Xfinity cars and in the truck series. So you see the cup guys really comfortable uh, being able to go up there right Ooh, off the bat. That was super close with Todd Gilliland. They still don't have it sorted out back here. Tenth place, Turex and McDowell. Right now, these guys are all filling out their race cars. They've not run in this much traffic. We talked about the heat in the racetrack. They're all wondering if the, the adjustments that they made on their car are better or worse. And, and it's just, it's tough to get comfortable in the first part of this race when you have everything happening on the, on the start and already that anxiety and nerves that come with uh, this particular racetrack and add in all the traffic and everything that's happening. It is just an intense first few laps. Well, already, you see the speed in this racetrack. You see that clean air and what it does for you. Getting strung out, getting this air, all the downforce you could possibly get on your race car. The leaders had that first. These guys that didn't, mired back in traffic, still stuck two, three wide. Well, I think Look at this clean air up here. Yeah, and I, I think we're gonna we're gonna see some fall off today. We're gonna see the the handling really come into play. We talked to the drivers and and they told us the tires fall off and the cars really start to get up on top of the racetrack and. So these first few laps are great, and everybody's settled in and feeling everything out, but it is not going to get better for them behind the wheel. Race the racetrack. I don't think I've heard those words since we were at Darlington last year. Well, you have to settle into a rhythm here, and, and you have to be comfortable with, with where you're at with your car. Uh, you see all these guys running the bottom of one and two. That is not where they're going to wind up by the time uh, the, this first run is over. I think they're going to be up the racetrack. Larson's already looking around up front through the middle of the racetrack through three and four. But I, I think by the end of the day, especially through one and two, you're going to be up the racetrack, and you see Todd Gilliland up in that second lane right sides right on those hash marks through the through the corner and that's what the place that has the most grip